climate change can now be considered another weapon of, war, of, of, of mass destruction. But the debate is settled. Climate change is a fact. The budget that I send to Congress next month will include $1 billion in new funding for new technologies to help communities prepare for a changing climate. Really? So if the president doesn't get his way, it sounds like he's going to use executive agenda to pass his green agenda. Is that legal? A lot of Republicans say no. Joining us right now is Fox News senior judicial analyst, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Let's forget about politics. We know that the Republicans don't agree with how he's using executive fiat. Right. But is what he's doing legal? Well, yes and no. He has, every president has a great deal of discretion with respect to the environment. Right. This is Congress's fault. Years ago, when they created the uh, Environmental Protection Administration uh, in the Nixon administration, Congress gave the president discretion how many parts per, per billion is acceptable uh, in the air. And presidents could, could raise those parts to make mm -hmm. it easier and less expensive for industry or lower those numbers. This president is using that discretion as he sees fit. But here's the kicker. He's also using it in ways that the Congress has expressly rejected, right. rejected, which makes it questionable morally, but probably still legal. In other areas, like immigration, where he's sure. actually changed the law, Obamacare, where 29 changes to the statute, there he's completely and totally frustrated Congress's will, and Congress's silence is shameful. Well, and he was just, we just ran a little soundbite where he's talking about, well, I'm going to use this billion dollar fund. Where's that coming from? I don't know where the billion dollar fund is <laughs> well, going to come from. Well, that's important. He does not have a slush fund that large, of which I right. am of which I Unless am he's aware. able to combine a bunch of stuff. Yes, which he would also claim that he has the authority to do because Congress is unwilling to meet the sure. goals of a clean environment. And we're showing some uh, video of him out in California last week talking about how the droughts out there are caused by global warming when, in fact, uh, you know, they're, they're out of water because uh, a federal judge ordered them to drain some reservoirs because of the uh, a bait fish of all Jeez, things. I thought they were out of water because they were watering golf courses too much. <laughs> Those are Do you believe that he played in a golf course that was saturated with water while the surrounding area doesn't have enough water with which to take showers? Yeah, it, it is. Uh, you don't hear about that in the mainstream media, do you? No, you don't. Uh, we asked at Fox News, you, the American public whether or not you approve of what the president is doing using executive orders to get around congress only about a third approve close to two-thirds disapprove also uh, another poll question executive orders to bypass congress is this how the government is supposed to work about a quarter say yes and three quarters judge say no remember some executive orders are good and actually tell the three million people in the executive branch how to do their job sure. but when he frustrates the congress He's violating his oath to uphold uh, and to enforce the laws faithfully. That's unconstitutional. And every time I hear uh, White House spokespeople go, well, you know, you look at Congress, uh, their, their poll numbers are in the toilet. The president's more popular than, than them. But you look at those polls and people don't like what he's doing. People don't like what he's doing. People want the government to work the way it's supposed to work. All right. That's the way an interview is supposed to work, just TV, like that. I, I we ask you, you questions, you answer them. I know you had a rough week with I did. your loss, but welcome back. Thank you very much, Judge.